What's going on guys? It's Steve and Susanna. Hello. I'm gonna try to talk a little bit softer because our little baby is taking her afternoon nap. It's been an eventful day so far. Yeah, yep. Um, today, me and Susanna, we went to get vaccinated. We got our vaccines done. Yeah. Uh, we started early this morning. If, well, let me just back it up real quick. In Florida, they just dropped the, um, the age um the age requirements for the vaccine is that the right thing i'm saying yeah or like the allowed age to get the vaccine mm -hmm. it just dropped it uh this week this monday yep. so we were able to qualify finally for the uh, covid vaccine so we both went and did ours we had to go to two separate places it's kind of interesting why we had to do two places because um the orange county convention center here in orlando that was doing the vaccine i was only able to get hers done at orange county convention to get orange county convention center i was only able to get her an appointment because by the time i got her appointment when i tried to do my appointment they were already gone, gone. <clears throat> excuse me or pushed way back i should say like it was like about a week from now yeah. so also we have a famous Actually, you got for you too but like yeah just further April out, something like that yeah and I knew that the FEMA site, which is a, they have a big facility or a big site, mobile site set up at one of the community colleges here in Orlando, Valencia Community College, uh, they do not require appointments. You can just go show up. And I saw they had received 3,000 doses of the Pfizer vaccine. So I said, you know what? I'll go ahead. I'll run over there and see if I can get a vaccine yeah. from the community college. And we'll take you after I come back to do your vaccine at the convention center. And that's how it works. So anyway, you guys, we're going to share it with y'all. Y'all want to see what it's like to get a vaccine if you haven't done it yet or whatever, but we're going to share it with you guys. So here's the video. Hope y'all enjoy it or get something out of it. Maybe it's, maybe it's informative. I don't know. I just wanted to document it more or less for posterity. I think is the correct word. Like just to have it as like, we'll always remember this craziness and finally getting vaccinated for it. So, all right, we'll see y'all back at the end. Alrighty, here we are at Valencia College, uh, Community College. This is where I have to go for the Pfizer vaccine. Let's see what happens. Let's see if um, I can get in line. Like I said, they have 3,000 doses. I know they've probably given out a lot of those already, but I'm going to try and see if I can get one today. Like I was saying, I have an appointment for Friday to get the uh, Pfizer vaccine over at uh, the Orange County Convention Center. But I was trying to get mine today because Susanna's appointment is at the convention center for today so that we would be kind of like matched up on the vaccine timeline. So we'll see how this works. Let's see what happens. Let's go over here and see if they have any uh, vaccine left. Alrighty, so we are in line. We are in the line to, for first dose. Looks like they still are doing second dose here at the exact same time, but they'll section you off for like first dose, first, second dose. But this is a FEMA site. Check this out. And this, it kind of feels surreal a little bit just to see this. Okay, I got to pull my ID out. Just, all right, take our IDs out. About to go inside the tent. I don't know if I want to shut the camera off. Let's see. Hi, how are you? All right, just continuing on through the little maze. Show the ID a couple of times. They did confirm it is the Pfizer vaccine. Here we go to the next tent. You can see what it looks like in here. This is pre-waiting registration. Just keep on moving through between the different tents. This one is the registration tent. Okay, so now we're going into the registration tent. I guess this is where we'll sign the docs. All right, here we go. I'm in the little tent waiting to get the shot. It's kind of a surreal feeling. It has like a feeling of like The Walking Dead or something in here, but waiting to get the second, the way they get the first shot. All right, so the nice gentleman was just explaining. It's like the deal, you know, you get the one shot now, come back in three weeks for the second one. All righty, I'm almost ready to get a shot. Here we go. It's like a relief, man, finally getting it done, you know? Yeah. Yep. Oh my god. I can imagine, but they have to get y'all done right away. There's some people who opted out of it, but I was just like, Yeah. My mother got the Pfizer vaccine, she had no side effects, no nothing at all. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. 
set up back over right over there. Into that next Thanks a lot, man. Pre appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. Alrighty. I, now I guess I head over to observation for 15 minutes and then that's it. Already I've been told to go to the next tent. They scanned me again, so I guess I'm under 15 minutes of observation. Thank you so much. Alrighty. So here we go, second tent for observation. We'll just chill in here for a minute. Alrighty, so now I'm seated in the observation tent. Just uh, waiting. Okay. I was looking at my little card here. It says my return next appointment is April 19th. Alrighty, so the nurse just walked over and she basically said that um, uh, we'll sit here for about 10, 15 minutes and the nice US soldiers will come over and give us the all clear to head on out. So just hang out here for a few minutes. Alright, so it's probably been about. It's been 15, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes with the U.S. soldier. They're just going person by person asking, do you feel nauseous, do you feel dizzy, whatever, that he's scanning you and sending you on your way. Well, how are you feeling right now? Feeling good. Right, sir? Yes, sir. Do you have any questions? No, good. Right. Thank you. And you're good to go, sir. Thanks a lot. You too. All right, and here we go. We're done. So, heading on out of here. Got my first shot. Now is. Susanna's turned this afternoon at the convention center. So here we go. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Alrighty. Well, I'm back in the car. Uh, got myself done. So now on to the house and uh, get a little bit of work done. And then um, Susanna's appointment is over at the Orange County Convention Center. Ideally, I would have loved to have had the Orange County Convention Center. I don't know if I explained this earlier. So let me explain this though. So I tried to do the Orange County Convention Center appointment this morning. They opened up their appointments at 9 a.m. Problem was I had to make two appointments or for two separate people. And uh, so I used one laptop, one desktop. My laptop is not that powerful and fast. Whereas my desktop is like a gaming computer that I built. I'm so proud of. So that one's like lightning fast. So I was able to, I did Susanna's appointment on that desktop and uh, got her appointment for this today. I think it's at two o'clock, I hope. Um, and then uh, I said, well, let me just come on over here then to this uh, college, Valencia College, to the FEMA site, to do my vaccine. It actually worked out well because we didn't have to bring baby Marie over here. Um, so it's good because Orange County, I guess, I, I assume that everyone watches here is from Orlando. And I have to remember, you guys are not all from Orlando. The uh, Orange County Convention Center, their site is actually pretty cool because it's a drive through site. You don't have to get out of your vehicle. You just sit in your car, open the window, and they give you your shot and you're on your way. Same, of course, for their COVID testing they do at the Convention Center. But either way, so I guess you guys will get to see the Convention Center too. But um, all right, I'm going to get myself some breakfast. I think I'm going to hit myself a Chick-fil-A. Uh, don't want to be on an empty stomach because I haven't had anything yet, especially after getting uh, a new experimental prototype vaccine. I feel like I should have a, a full stomach with this vaccine to absorb the vaccine. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if like a Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit just absorbed it? I don't know. All right. the vaccination site. I ended up going to my Chick-fil-A. Got uh, two nice chicken combos for me and the lady in the back seat. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. <coughs> um, and baby Marie's in her little car seat relaxing. So yeah, we ate a little lunch. And now, honey, it's your turn. We're on our way to the Orlando. It's, Con it's your oh, turn. Really so Aren't you? Isn't it weird? Yeah. Like, I don't want to sound like a, like a nerd or something. Like, I'm excited, but there's a little bit of relief, of relief to it or something. I don't yes, know. It's the feeling that one day we will go back to the normal life. Or something somewhat normal. Yeah. <laughs> somewhat <laughs> normal. So anyway, we're on the way to Orlando's Convention Center because that's where your appointment is. And uh, let's see. Two o'clock your appointment? Two, two, two and a half, fifteen. Okay. Fifteen minutes, yeah. So the way it's looking to me, we should get there just in time. Because we're a good 35, 40 minutes from the convention center. So we should get there just in time. Let's get your shot. This is again Pfizer. So half dose, first dose today. I think then your return dose should be the same day as mine, right? The 19th of April. So that'll be good. 
put just 30 days out of that would be like quote unquote immunity, which would be around May 20th, baby's first birthday. Actually, her birthday is May 20, 2021. Are we on March? If you, yeah, but you're gonna get your second shot. If it's like mine, second shot in one month. It should be April 19th. Three weeks, not one month, three weeks. I have, did I say one month? I should have said three weeks. Three weeks, so it will be April 19th, not the May. Yeah, but then after you get the second shot, uh, some of these doctors I've read, they said it takes about, after that second shot, to reach like, you had to hit that 95% immunity one month. Yeah. So uh, that would be the plan. That way we can do her little tooth party. Yeah. No face masks, hopefully. Yeah. Let's see. It'd be much more comfortable a little bit. Yeah, so anyway, we're on our way to the convention center, so let's see how this goes. Here we go. Definitely we will enjoy her birthday. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hard, it's hard to believe it's been a year. Yeah. God, it went by so fast. She's a big girl. Yeah. Yeah, 2020, like, into 2021, it's just, it's been chaotic. No way around it, so, like, it just, it's flown by. Yep. But, all right. All right, well, let's head on to the convention center. Let's do that. Alrighty, we're here at the Orange County Convention Center. Just thought I would show it to you guys from the outside because I don't know if anyone, if you guys have all ever seen it before. It's a massive convention center. So there it is. Always, oh, my phone is talking to me. Draped around some massive hotels too. This whole iDrive area, it's a really cool area to come to. If you're on your Disney vacation and you want to see something a little bit different, there's a lot of great restaurants and stuff down iDrive, including my infamous Boston Lobster Feast, which once I'm fully vaccinated, we're going to Boston Lobster Feast, honey. Yes. <laughs> that is a must, right? I was here busy. I didn't hear what you were saying. Well, I'm saying like this area. I was saying how there's all the restaurants on I Drive, uh, yeah. including our Lobster Feast. I miss so much your Lobster Feast. We're going. That's like the first place we're going once this is all like kicked yeah. in or whatever. Uh -huh. They've been open throughout the pandemic. It was actually great because they were doing an awesome takeout thing when the restaurants yeah. first reopened. Oh, like. They yeah, they just went back to like doing, they actually are still a buffet. How they're doing their buffet, I'm not sure. I assume like, you know, they're not letting you go up there and get your own food or something. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, enough about lobster fees. Back to convention center. You getting ready, honey? Because I'm going to have to move you up yeah. to the front seat. Yeah. Uh, let's see, vaccination appointments. Uh, was I supposed to turn down that way? Maybe I was supposed to have turned there. That was tricky to find a little bit. Oh my God. So we had to enter from Universal Boulevard. I drove past the entrance. They need a bigger sign out there, something that says, this is where you turn in for your vaccine, but we found it. Even in the end of it was the written do you turn, but actually you should turn. Yeah, that was the thing. It said to make a U-turn to enter the, by the way, it's in the Northern concourse of this convention center. And uh, it said make a U-turn to enter the Northern concourse, but we didn't have to make a U-turn, we made a left turn. I don't know why we're saying to make a U-turn. Yeah. That was confusing, but either way, we made it. We have like five minutes to spare. I guess we just come on down. Let's we'll scan the QR code here, maybe. Let's see. Looks like that's Do what they're doing. Open the code. Uh huh. I took a picture of it off of the computer, off the desktop this morning. You ready to get your shot, honey? I'm so ready. So ready. Yeah. She's doing good in the back seat, by the way. Yeah, honey. Oh. Is asking that How are you, buddy? Oh, I just had it. Uh-huh. Oh. Alright, you're good to go. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if this car is going straight, but we're going to go straight ahead past the car. You just go straight all the way down? Yeah. It's kind of like to the left, but straight all the way Follow down. it all the way down. Got it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, this is the first time that little baby girl Marie has been in the back seat by herself. Yeah, by herself. You always ride in the seat with her, but you had to come yeah. up front so you she's can She's doing your... good. She's doing great. Yeah, she's, she's watching her cartoon. She's watching her cartoon. <laughs> Again, it looks like that's all she ever does. Yeah. But... She has her entertainment, but it this seems is... it's her nap time. I yeah. don't know. It seems she's asleep. This I will is... not be surprised. This is a pretty convention center. I can't wait till like when the virus thing's done. To actually go to a, some type of event here, you know, yeah. like do a, an event or something. They actually have a huge, um, like apparel, screen printing, printing type of uh, show that they do out here. And we've never been able to do it. It was canceled last year because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we'll get to go to the trade show or whatever. But, okay, well, so he said to just go all the way down. 
This is a drive-through vaccination site, so you don't have to get out of the vehicle. Yeah, that's great. Am I doing this right? I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. Oop, bouncy, bouncy. Yeah, look at that. Show them the convention center, huh? How big this one is. Mm -hmm. I remember back in the day they used to do the eBay Live convention here or whatever. But it looks really nice, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we'll definitely go to, uh, I'd like to go to that trade show. But I'd like to go to a couple different types of trade shows that they bring in here or whatever. It'd be fun. So basically they've had us just snaking through this parking lot, right? Yeah. And we keep getting, now we're right up against the convention center, but it just snakes through. Must have Florida ID, Florida residency, proof of Florida residency. But this is an, well, it's just so pretty down here, right? Everything's so pretty. Look at all the palm trees. Yeah. Oh, big bump. Um, just the landscape, it looks so tropical. nice for a convention center. Yes, tropical. And I yes, guess. This part is a uh, reminder of my game. Oh, Miami? Yeah. yeah, sure, I could see that. The Miami. State. I want to go to Miami. Yeah. <laughs> Not right now, though. <laughs> Let's spring break. We totally finished down there. <laughs> go there in the summer or something. Yeah, no, so, not summer. Not summer? Well, I guess we're going inside. Yeah. Ah, okay, here we go. And maybe this is where we... There's a line in here. Here, you want to hold that for me? Thank you. And the gentleman is directing us to the right. Okay. And I guess this is where we get checked in. And I'm assuming you're going to get your... Let's see. Masks are required. Alrighty, they gave you a little barcode on your yep. arm, right? Yep. Yep, a little barcode. That's what they'll scan. Mm -hmm. So that you get your vaccine. Do you want it in the right arm or left arm? No, the right. Yeah. Because usually I hold the baby on the left arm. I've always been told it's better to get a shot in the arm that you use the most. Yeah. Reason being because that way it doesn't get as sore. Yep. And we are being directed to continue straight through. All the way down. And which arm are we going to do? The right arm? That's you ready? Why do you look so scared? I don't know. I just, I'm not scared. I just wanted to understand correctly. Oh, the questions? Jesus. Those are just like the generic Can questions they have to ask. Yeah. This is the first dose. Yeah, this is the first dose. Usually, that gives you a sore eye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let your, let your arm uh -huh. hang down hang. way off the armrest, everything. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right there, beautiful. Okay. Relax. Now, some people could get a little headache, not feeling not right. It's okay. It's all okay. expected. Okay. There you go. Okay. Much good. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So he's going to give you back your card. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to observe. Okay. Thank you. Alrighty. So I got my shot. Yay! Now we're on to observation. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting. You were actually in the system considered um, high risk because you're currently breastfeeding. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they said that you do have to... Um, yeah, I was surprised that they uh, put me on the high risk. So they were saying that... Oh, there we go. Make sure we're doing this right. Mm -hmm. uh, they were saying that you may have to wait 30 minutes instead of 15 minutes in observation. But mm -hmm. she was saying most likely it would just be the 15. Yeah. How do you feel? Okay, mm -hmm. that's not first time I'm getting so I'm not scared. Arm feel sore? Uh, right now it's okay. Mine not felt um, sore almost Maybe right after. away. Maybe after, really? Yeah, like it tightened up like the muscles. Yeah. So far from, especially when I moved to this country, in uh, our country we don't get this many vaccines. Right. Usually. Right. Even uh, how many they, get, they <laughs> get for the baby. Uh -huh. We don't have this many vaccines. Right. Uh, in the country so but so far i never have a problem i mean allergic or mm -hmm. a little bit it can sore it's normal that's they normal. put the shot well when it's sore that's like they said that's the inflammation yeah. inflammatory response it's like normal it's, it's what's expected yep so so now we're all head over here i guess to the um 
holding area, observation area. They still area. has to scan this. Yeah, because what they'll do, that's if they do it like they did me, they scan that barcode that's on your shirt, and then it starts a timer mm -hmm. of like either going to be 15 or 30 minutes. And you, she said 30 minutes, but it may not be mm -hmm. because they, for some reason you were in the system is high risk, but she was saying that's because I had to check off that you were breastfeeding. Yeah. Um, so that's not really a risk to you or anything, but, yep. um, so she said probably you don't have to wait 30 minutes, probably just still 15. But. Yep. Okay. Well, let's, um, let's go find, let's head on. So this is like going to a drive-in, like a drive-in movie. Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All ready. What is that on your arm? I still have the your vaccine phone. sticker. Yep. I don't know if it's that if it's hard and to I see. I have the bandage. Yeah, ben <laughs> <laughs> you have the you have the evidence. You have the yeah. Uh, yeah. the QR code and the evidence for yeah. the vaccine. They didn't put on your shirt. They did. I just I don't know. I, I think I, I yeah. Pull I threw mine away. You can keep yours. Yeah. Remember, you know, I did keep it. I kept it. It's by my computer. Mm -hmm. I still have that. So anyway, we both got the Pfizer vaccine. Y'all saw it in the video. I know. Oh, let's just answer the simple, quick questions. Any side effects so far? Do you feel anything? No, it's interesting. You said yours is a little right away you feel sore. I mean, when I say sore, it's about the most minor of sore. I don't feel it interesting. Yeah, Nothing. Very just cool. when she put the shot, a little bit. <clears throat> mm -hmm. It wasn't like a painful shot. She I, did a very good job. You feel good having it, get, having it finally done? Yes. Relief the, a little bit? Of or, course. Yeah. And in, one, uh, in three weeks, about three weeks, we have to go take another mm -hmm. dose. Mm -hmm. And of course, I feel the only thing we have to know only um, be careful f uh, with the baby situation. Yeah. Yeah. My hopes with that is that uh, is more and more adults like ourselves, maybe like some of you guys, get vaccinated. It'll help protect the children. I told Susanna... I don't know, I said this yesterday, I don't know if, I'll, if it'll make sense or not, but I feel like the kids had to sacrifice so much of their lives over the last 12 months by not going to school, not getting to play with their friends. Yeah, right. Look at our baby girl, we haven't even had her baptized yet because we didn't want yeah. to go to the church, so like, yeah. since the children... Yeah, a lot of um, parties we miss because of yeah. the... Yeah, we even delayed her, uh, her Adam Hatik, her tooth party. That, uh, the baby shower we didn't do, the a uh, baby, uh, uh, how to say that word, the gender... Uh, gender woman. reveal. Yeah, that we didn't, I mean, nothing we didn't because of the COVID. Yeah, so with, you know, like I was, I told you then, I said, you know, the kids had to make such a big sacrifice over the last 12 months basically more to protect the adults mm -hmm. than the people more vulnerable, not so much for themselves, but to protect grandma, grandpa, papa, mama. Yeah, yeah. Um, I almost feel like now like it's our job to mm -hmm. return the favor, which is go get a vaccine. Yeah. You know, the more adults that get vaccinated, hopefully, hopefully, fingers yeah. crossed, yeah. it will prevent the disease from continuing to spread to get back to the kids. So this way the kids can enjoy their lives a little mm -hmm. bit more too. Because yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I don't want to vaccinate my child for yeah, this yeah. young. I mean, you know what, if the evidence comes out that it's the right thing to do and it's the safe thing to do, but I hope that we, you know, I hope that at least by then she'll at least be two years old, mm -hmm. something. So, yeah. but whatever, and that, how do we know how that's gonna all unfold in the future? But step one is we got ourselves vaccinated. How and the do you more, feel after vaccination? I feel fine. Left arm was just, I don't no, even think the, of, oh, the, my emotions? Yeah, the feeling. I feel good. Yeah. It, it feels good. It just feels, yeah. I hate to use the term like, like hopefully maybe this is like the first step to returning to normal because we still don't know that. I have no idea. And, I, and it's going to always be a new normal. Mm -hmm. That's something we're going to talk about in the next video, by the way, because um, Joe, Joe Biden, I haven't even read the story yet, but President Biden, mm -hmm. uh, something because I just saw the headline about wanting to set up uh, a, a vaccine passport type of system and trying to do it pretty quickly. And I know that people are already wondering how that affects Disney, Disney Cruise Line. You know, we're always going to talk about Disney here. Um, how does it affect the you know, tourism in general? So I want to do a separate video about that. We'll talk. Yeah. So guys, make sure to look out for that video. I'll probably do it either later today or tomorrow or something. But because I have a lot of opinions on that one, I'm torn. I could see how that could go. But DeSantis, I think, did say today in a press conference that he wants to pass executive orders immediately in Florida that would try to outlaw companies like Disney or Universal or somebody from 
mandating that you have to have a vaccine to enter their properties or something. Mm -hmm. I have, I'm not an attorney. I don't know how that works. I don't know, does the president supersede the governors in that situation? Does Disney even want to do that? So anyway, I'm going to save that for the next video. We'll, we'll have a talk about that here coming up. So yeah. make sure to stay tuned for that one because I want to know y'all's opinions. That's going to be, that's a controversial one. I know that, that that's a controversial Maybe one. Maybe we can go live with that. Uh, you want to go live for that one? Yeah, oh. it would be interesting to have a people to talk okay. at the same time, have a, some question or... Well, do you know when you want to go live to discuss that so we can let these good folks know? Well, we don't know yet because I'm not exactly sure what time we're going to upload this. You can schedule, right? Yeah, let's just uh, for let's just do this let's for the live... It may be a live stream, let me say that. I'm not 100% yeah, sure yeah. if we can do that as a live stream or not. It all depends too on how the baby is. Yeah. Because she does right. require mama baba time. It makes doing live streams in the house a little bit tricky. Yeah. Because where our computer is set up for live streams, it's very close to where she's sleeping. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why, if you notice, we're not in our normal spot doing our videos. We're actually out far away in the living room, about as far away from her bedroom as we can be. So, we, you know, so I don't know, that's what they've doing a live stream. It might bother her a little bit. But um, anyway, no, I feel good. I feel good. Yeah. Ask me in 10 years how I feel. Yeah. Because I don't think any Nobody of us know. We just that. took kind of like an experimental type I of vaccine. I hope it will be like a, yeah, I hope it will have a, the same uh, effect like another vaccines. Yeah, I mean. It will not cause something like anything for future. I doubt it. Yeah, and if it too. And if it, and if it did, you're going to have a lot of company. A lot yeah. of people are going to be miserable with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> You're not going to be the only person on earth that took an exper like kind of, I don't want to say it's experimental because supposedly it's a proven now type of vaccine. They've tested it on so many people, but mm -hmm. you know, it hasn't been in anybody for 10 years yet. So The hardest part was to find the, the convention center. Uh, yeah, that was tricky, right? Like, place. Trying, yeah. It wasn't like the correctly uh, the sign described. Where to go, how to go. I saw you call your brother. Well, you know what was throwing me off is when we were when I was coming down I drive, they have like the uh, sign that was flashing and it said something about there was a tournament, then it said for the testing, and I know where the testing is because I had to go over there one time, but there was nothing like the last thing on that sign when it flashed was the vaccine thing, and I was already like beyond the sign to read it. And I thought like I would just see like real quick where to turn. I got turned around. Whatever, we found it. Mm -hmm. But that's just, the convention center was so massive as I think y'all could see in the video. My question is if uh, my appointment was like 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. to 2 to 2:15. 2 15. Uh -huh. If I have been later, mm -hmm. uh, they will not give me the shot. I, I really in that situation. I don't know. I don't know if they, they have a little bit of. They a... scanned. Uh, uh, but I didn't notice they scanned that barcode, but I yes. didn't notice they are checking the time. Mm -hmm. I, you, that, are that, you in time or not? I'm sure when they check that QR code or when they scanned your QR code, that would tell them what time was your appointment and if maybe they give you like a 15 minute window like usually doctor's offices give you 15 20 mm -hmm. minutes if you're late mm -hmm. so maybe they were doing the same type of but thing for but for second shot know. she said anytime you can come yeah that was interesting for the second dose mm -hmm. you don't have to come at a specific time just yeah. come on the date yeah but you have to go where you get your first dose and that's what's interesting i heard two different things so over at valencia college at the fema center mm -hmm. The soldier that gave me my shot, he said, you can go to any place as long as you should take your... He said that, huh? Yeah, he said, as long as you take that card, your vaccination card showing like you got the Pfizer shot, mm -hmm. you can go anywhere that's giving the Pfizer shot for the second dose. So because I asked him specifically if I could go to Orange County Convention Center, he said, absolutely. But then at Orange County Convention Center, that nurse that gave you your shot said totally opposite. She said, no, you have to go to the facility that gave you your vaccine. If I were a guessing man, this is just me guessing. I would say she's probably wrong. And the reason why I think that she's wrong is because what happens if this, this FEMA location at Valencia College didn't have any more vaccine? Well, you're just stuck without getting your second shot. You know, you know what I mean? So, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm moving the camera in the wrong way. There we go. No, y'all are on like a floating tripod, if y'all mm -hmm. notice. And one hand gets tired. I have to keep moving y'all between two hands. But I'm trying to keep us in the frame, nice and square. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah, like what would happen if the community college location, that is a famous site, y'all saw that. But what if they run out of like a vaccine? They can't give you the second dose. Mm -hmm. I mean, can't you go somewhere else if you have an appointment to get yeah. a second dose? But I don't know. Although, oh, I know what it is. What? Um, yeah, I know exactly what it is. If I were to try to go to the, um, 
to the Orange County Convention Center to get my second dose. My appointment, though, is not there. My appointment is back at mm -hmm. the um, Valencia Community College. That's why you have to go back to the same place. They probably won't let you book an appointment at the Orange County Convention Center for a second dose. Probably have to do both. I think she was right. I think she's right. Now that I'm thinking because about it, sorry, um, our our fine U.S. gentleman soldier may have been wrong on that one. Yeah. Maybe it's because or I'm maybe I asked it in a confusing second way. Second dose, they have like schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For this yeah. day, this I'm, many people yeah. they will come for second dose. Yeah. I don't think they are like instead of three thousand second yeah. dose, they get six thousand. Exactly. Yeah. I think I was just sitting here thinking like. I don't have an appointment over there anymore because when I went to the community college, mm -hmm. it changed my appointment to a new. It said a new appointment, yeah. so that's why. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he he maybe maybe I confused him with the way I asked him. Yeah. Anyway, anything else you want to add to this video, honey? Before we say goodbye. I wanted to yeah. ask. Uh, we mentioned that we both we got the Pfizer. I don't know if we did, but let's mention you it anyway. Said, you just said about yeah. that. We both got the Pfizer yeah, vaccine. We both got the Pfizer. If you're not familiar, two dose. Yeah. yeah. Which we wanted originally, because uh, your mom yeah. got the Pfizer. <laughs> yeah. My mother was the guinea pig. She was the uh, guinea pig. Had to twist her arm. Yeah. She's a little stubborn in her ways. Hi, mom. I know you watch our videos, <laughs> but uh, she did go get the Pfizer vaccine. She had zero side effects, yeah. but she's always been like that. She's like an ox. <laughs> she's just tough. Nothing hurts you, mama. You're a very mm -hmm. tough lady. But um, yeah, she had the Pfizer vaccine. No side effects. Um, from what I've read, it seems like the Moderna vaccine, mm -hmm. the other two-shot vaccine, that one has maybe a little more side effects. Like, I've always heard that the second dose of that one, people feel really sick, like fever. You feel kind of fluish. Mm -hmm. And I've saw, like, a lot of people have complained about swelling at the mm -hmm. site. However, the vaccine is just as effective, yeah. apparently. But I just would prefer not to deal with any side effects. Now, we don't know long-term side effects. Again, we're just talking about, like short-term sh let's say this short-term injection site side effects it seems that the pfizer one is a little bit um milder than Nurse, Moderna. she said you can have some headache or yeah term, they or, warn you about that yeah my doctor said so i mean my far, doctor nothing yeah the person gave me the shot said you might have a headache or fever or mm -hmm. feel sick or lethargic that type of thing but, yeah they send you 15 minutes to wait to see no mm -hmm. side effect mm-hmm then they are sending you home. Yeah, they want to make sure you don't have some type of like adverse, um, what do you call it, uh, allergic reaction or something. Oh, yeah. God forbid that happens. They have, that's a cool thing. They have medical teams there, mm -hmm. ambulances. They can probably treat you for, what is it called, anaphylactic shock, I think is the term or whatever. If you have like an allergic reaction, they can, mm -hmm. I think they hit you with an EpiPen. One of those pop, pop you with an EpiPen in the leg and try mm -hmm. to reverse the effects of that, so. But, um, yeah, other than that, that's the deal. Let me know in the comments if you want to. You don't have to. If you if you want to share, have you been vaccinated yet? And how was your experience? Or are you waiting still? Or is your state, um, you know, a lot of every state has different eligibility. After so it may not be April eligible April 5th, yet. they will drop the age 18. 16 and all up. 16. Yeah. So that's next Monday, right? Yeah. So here in Florida, after starting next Monday, anyone basic, any adult basically mm -hmm. can get the vaccine. Yeah. So, and it seems like that's what a lot of states are doing. I think even California is doing that now. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, um, let me know in the comments. Did you get yours yet? Are you still waiting or you're not eligible? You're eligible. You don't want to get it. I'm just curious. I'm just curious, you know, if you want to share, if you enjoyed the video, if you had fun watching us run around and get this craziness over with and done, give it a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> if you're new channel, make sure to subscribe, click the bell notification icon. Again, our videos are a little bit different this week because we're not really going over to Disney too much. It's so crowded. And I saw Universal today. They hit capacity again, 10 o'clock this morning. So y'all know if y'all watched I'm the last so, video. I'm how so we feel. curious uh, how many people there that they hit the capacity because the day we went it was yeah. very very crowded yeah. a lot yeah. of people yes. but it wasn't like they didn't hit the capacity that they brought i can tell you right now if universal capacity is more than what we saw on sunday mm -hmm. i won't be going back over there until 30 days after my second shot which is when you're supposed to be mm -hmm. like fully immunized <laughs> so with the baby yeah oh no i will take the baby no way no, no. And I then, mean, we can't take her somewhere and all the time uh, <laughs> no. keep close her with the blanket. I was disappointed with how crowded Universal was. They let in that many 
people. And I noticed that uh, a lot of people, they were walking mm -hmm. without mask or the mask pulling on, under the nose. Yeah. Oh, Even yeah. I have seen one pregnant woman, she was like a half open, the mask was walking. She probably couldn't really, breathe. Really, I was surprised. She probably couldn't breathe. You know how when you were pregnant, you needed yeah, extra oxygen. I, but do you remember how many I was using two masks? Yeah. One was N. Uh, that was well. You. How would the N95? N95. Yeah, N95. I forget. The she would wear an N95. I had. And a surgical mask. I was one of those lucky people that had bought a couple of N95 masks for like a little construction thing I was doing. I don't even know what I bought them for. Maybe for screen printing. And I had never worn them, so they're still brand new in the package. So when the pandemic started, I had a couple of N95s. So back then, when we knew nothing really about coronavirus, and Suzanne was pregnant. When she would go to her OGBYN appointments, we're talking about like, you know, March. <laughs> like when this was all blowing up and no one knew what to expect, mm -hmm. you would wear an N95 and on top of that a surgical mask and gloves. Yeah. Poor baby, she could hardly breathe. She was pregnant. Yeah, and that was tough, yeah. Yeah. We nothing, because you didn't know, we knew yeah. nothing back then. Yeah. We knew nothing, so. Just for to be in safe, safe sight. The only thing we knew about that back then was what you saw from China on television, which was yeah. death hospitals, it looked mm -hmm. like, so. Thank okay. God it turned out not to be like that, but anyway, yeah. By the way, we forget to mention that after my shot, they, they give us uh, two packages of the masks. Oh yeah, that was nice. Each package yeah. have about 10 uh, masks yeah. inside. When we were leaving the Orange County Convention Center, they would hand out to each car two packs of disposable surgical masks. Yeah. Well, that's mm -hmm. kind of nice. Yeah. I'm sure we paid for it in taxes anyway, but still, <laughs> it's like you're, you probably paid for them anyway. But either way, it was nice. So yeah. Speaking of that, if y'all don't know, if you're curious, they didn't charge for the vaccines. That's all paid for too. So, um, yeah, no fees, nothing, no insurance collection. It's just get your shot and go on your way mm -hmm. and that's what we did so yeah. yeah let me know down in the comments if y'all have experienced or gotten vaccines yet or gotten vaccinated yet i should say or you don't want to do it you want to do it not ready your state's not required i'm just curious but anyway be on the lookout for the next video because i do want to talk and we'll have this conversation here in a little bit i need to read the article first about these vaccine passports and what i think it could mean mm -hmm. to orlando and walt disney world and universal mm -hmm. and tourism in general you mm -hmm. know the cruise lines and stuff so yeah. um it's an interesting topic and i know that it's going to be a controversial one <laughs> so i'll try to discuss it as neutrally as i can but it's definitely i'm definitely 50 50 on how i feel about it but um anyway that's a wrap on the video guys hope you all enjoyed it make sure to check out as always mousesecrets.com for disney matching t-shirts for dis for our face masks we have super fun face masks remember even if we're vaccinated we still got a mask up there's still a lot of people young people that are not eligible yet for vaccines or a lot of people haven't gotten one yet mm -hmm. so we have a lot of face masks that you can use in the parks they're washable on our website links will be in the description down below and our merchandise straight from the park links are in the description down below guys have a great one we'll see you on the next video see you bye, bye.